yeah, I think we're ready. We have everything right here. And uh, this is a real smile. And uh, the reason behind this long face and smile is one of the best, most epic fountain pens of 2022. Welcome to an epic fountain pen collection update. Do you sit down? Are you ready to see the ultimate Leonardo Ficina Italiana fountain pen? I hope you are because I'm going to showcase it right now. Mm, this is such a great day and I have goosebumps and everything is, is just way better than I expected. Uh, good things take some time and some people. And I've been waiting on this fountain pen and slowly adding more to it and doing it more complicated, more unique, more exotic with every single step. And I'm super happy that I was able to put together so many people, so many contacts and so much exotic things on one single fountain pen. And uh, it's hardly uh, possible to contain myself and this is why I'm giggly and I'm laughing and I'm emotional, but I'm gonna showcase uh, this font pen in a few moments till then let me tell you that we do have some things moving into my personal font pen collection in and out and uh, I want to start first with another fountain pen which I'm gonna set aside for now because well it wasn't the best example to reflect what is my collection about and I'm gonna keep this fountain pen in order to just testing nips and uh, give me a few moments. It is my Leonardo Momento Zero Grande in this prototype frosted, similar to, I believe, the Stilo Estile exclusive. Leonardo of China Italiana had one of these fountain pens with a size eight gold nib on their desk and I wanted it. So once I've seen it, I took it home with me from Italy. I had a lot of fun with this fountain pen. I wrote with it, I've used it, but recently, I took the nib out and I have been uh, doing something nice also with it. I've put it on my Conid King size. Looks to be a match made in heaven because I love my Conid a lot more lately. And also this fountain pen has no nib. I could put the bulk nib from uh, the Conid, but I left it to be a tester fountain pen for size eight gold nibs because we do have a few of them and I want to test them and to adjust them on the, uh, a fountain pen, which is not the one that I'm gonna send out to you. So like this, you wouldn't find too much ink in that fountain pen and you can mistake this for a used fountain pen. So I'm gonna remove this from the collection also for the fact that uh, this fountain pen was primarily intended to be a prototype and not a serial model. So now we need to cross it off the list down below. If you want to check out my entire personal fountain pen collection of, I believe, a close to 100 fountain pens. Uh, you can scroll down and you can find all of the details down below. Now is the time to move into the serious stuff. The, the one fountain pen which is just like, I don't know. You will see that for me, fountain pens sort of have a recipe. You add components, materials, skills, people, crafts, and then you put everything together and you come up with something which is so, so crazy that probably a very few or even none will ever try to do it. So this is why you sort of appreciate that it exists because no one else is that crazy to put together the recipe and come up with the same result. And that fountain pen, it's on my bucket list of fountain pens to get in 2022 and finally we have something we have something from leonardo of china italiana and if you follow that list you probably know the fountain pen that i'm referring to finally i got my momento zero grande in arco bronze celluloid and it's the last one from leonardo of china italiana I'm pretty much 99.99% .99 sure that it is the last fountain pen that they will do in Arco Bronze Celluloid. And it's this one right here. Beautiful and uh, it's rhodium silver color trims and uh, it looks gorgeous. 
the, the, the pattern is completely aligning. We do have this very nice scales off and, and I'm shaking right now. This is the, the sort of level of excitement that I have and my voice, I believe sounds funny because usually I'm serious with details in my videos, but in this one, it's hardly, uh, it's hardly possible to contain myself. And uh, this is a significant fountain pen for me because I've been waiting for this fountain pen for more than two years. And it is in the trim that I liked, in the configuration that I liked with three rings right here and old style. It is not yet engraved because they didn't have time to do it. Um, because this fountain pen was customized by someone in regards of the nip. And uh, this is the, the, the rabbit hole into the rabbit hole into the rabbit hole. It's that deep because I took this fountain pen with me at the London Pen Show and I met up with the only person that uh, took on the quest. That person, you can see it right here. It's my good friend, Jose. The tattoos are real, the beard is real, and he had the courage, you need to have the courage to take on this quest because we tried to do something crazy. And uh, the, the whole idea behind this font pen was to have it as being the ultimate Leonardo of China Italiana. And I'm pretty sure it is because I don't see no one crazy enough to try this. I may be mistaken. Maybe this video will serve as a inspiration from myself to you out there to try something like this and uh, go for it because the result is awesome. I wanted to have the ultimate Leonardo and uh, I'm gonna engrave it when I'm gonna travel to Italy, but I wanted to be there and to show this fountain man to Salva at Leonardo of China Italiana because I wanted to demonstrate him that this fountain pen deserves a special place. I wanted to show him the legacy that he created, the, the, the support that he invested in Pen Venture and myself, and uh, to show him the gratitude that he deserves for such writing instruments. And uh, I wanted to give it a name. So for this one, I'm gonna need your help. I had in mind two different names. I'm gonna let you pick the one that you like. Comment down below, let me know which one to go for and that name will be engraved on the fountain pen and I'm gonna show you it in a video review for this fountain pen. The version number one being T-O-O, -O, the only one. And that says everything. The second name that I had in mind is a tribute to Leonardo, King Leo, short for Leonardo, King for standing as one of the coolest Leonardo fountain pens that there is at this very moment. Let me know your option in a comment section down below. Either it's T-O-O, -O, the only one, or King Leo. And I'm gonna use it and it's gonna be engraved and you will be the person who decides which name should this fountain pen have. Let's get down to the nib because I think you cannot be prepared for this. It is a size eight rhodium collar nib with an ebonite feeder triple stacked with other size 6 gold nibs 14 karat of Leonardo a nib done by Jose himself I believe this person it's going to be big in our industry if you want to uh, give it a search Jose nib scientist custom grinds stack nibs go for it give it a search show him some love Give him a follow, give him a like, send your best thoughts to him because I love to have people that can work together to make this great things. And uh, don't ask me about the cost of this fountain pen because uh, it's left a big, big hole in my budget for this year. Anyway, uh, great things have a price and that price should be paid by someone crazy enough and daring enough to try this. This fountain pen was a uh, sort of the result of a brainstorming of myself with myself. Hey, let's do this crazy pen. Let's try to find a crazy nib or create a crazy nib, put them together to form something unique that's never been done before and highly possible not to be done ever again by someone else. And in the process, we sacrificed two 
size 6 14 karat gold nits and uh, Jose sent me the, the aftermath of this process right here and I'm gonna try to sell this I mean it's 14 karat gold so gold it's at a very very high point right now on the market so let's try and see if it's possible to sell this and to actually cover some of the expenses with this fountain pen it's it's gonna be interesting because uh, I've heard so many times that gold is money gold is liquid it's store of value let's try it out but before trying to sell those nips let's go and um, let's have a writing sample with this uh, triple stacked uh, awesomeness of a nib and uh, I'm gonna use my notebook right here and give me a just a brief moment to set up the camera usually when I have fountain pens sort of close to the coolness level of this one I keep the box packed but with this one it was an instant rip the parcel look inside get the fountain pen put some ink in it get to write with it enjoy it and the fountain pen is already inked up so I'm gonna show you the nib in some close-up details in a few moments after the writing sample let's see how it's performing Leonardo uh, Momento Zero Grande and uh, this is a Arco bronze and uh, this is the nib it's a triple stack uh, 14 karat gold and uh, this is sort of a very very unique way to put it and I don't know what to put it as a size so it's made of one size 8 14 karat broad nib and two size 6 14 karat broad nibs and uh, this is the, the the sort of coolness level that this nib is able to provide it's awesome it's an architect nib and uh, if you tilt it like so it writes very fine if you go down a little bit it will write like a medium then if you go like this it will be a broad double broad and if you go all the way down it is a impressive double broad very wet nib it's smooth it's very forgiving uh, Jose did a wonderful job he grinded every edge nothing is catching uh, the paper nothing is wrong uh, it is awesome and I love the result of his work I, I appreciate that kind of, of commitment to an idea and uh, that sort of let's say skill and confidence that you need to have to take on this kind of a job so Jose wonderful job I'm super happy man let me put the notebook away because we will have a video review for this fountain pen I mean you want it comment down below let me know if you want to have it help me expand and grow the pen venture reach uh, if you're not subscribed subscribe right now click there turn the notification bell on if you enjoy this fountain pen this video and my content give this video a big thumbs up this will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and all of that now let's get back to the fountain pen because I want to share with you one detail which I uh, didn't point it out although the fountain pen has silver color trims and the initial nib the size 8 gold nib was rhodium the tipping right there it's gold color those two size 6 gold nibs uh, were made in gold color why this is a king this is sort of the, 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 the pen that has to have a crown. So usually the crown, it's the one that sits on top, on the head of a king. And I wanted to have that in gold in order to see that there is something on top. We have silver color or rhodium right here on the nib and on top gold color. Well, pretty much this is one of the best fountain pens of this year. I'm gonna have to make a very very good assessment of what became part of my collection this year in order to make those videos my top 10 favorite fountain pens and my top 10 favorite inks and also maybe we will try to have another top 10 bucket list what fountain pens I should get in 2023. If you have any other questions regarding this fountain pen 
or any other fountain pen that I've showed right here or in my collection. Use the comment section down below. Uh, let me know your thoughts regarding this craziness of a fountain pen. I mean, it is something which only a madman like me in regards to fountain pens would dream. Anyway, that is it. We should update the list down below, put this finally my uh, Momento Zero Grande Arco Bronze Celluloid on that list. It's part of my personal fountain pen collection and uh, it is going to be wonderful to have your opinion regarding the name of this fountain pen and uh, what I will engrave on it. Super happy with everything, super excited. Thank you so much for spending your time with me on the Penvenger YouTube channel, updating you on my personal collection and how it's going. Thank you so, so much. Uh, if you enjoyed my content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm to reach out to many more just like you. Also, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, my phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me. If you are looking for an next writing instrument, choose Penventure and I will help you out personally. If you are convinced and if you are not subscribed, subscribe right now just click there turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content speaking about content if you want to continue watching my videos i'm gonna leave you this right here you can click and enjoy as always i'm your host amy from penventure happy 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 till next time take care bye bye